Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Why personal development is crucial for coaches, consultants, and small business owners, just so that you do not want to return to the safety of a nine to five job with your tail tugged between your legs if you can't bring in new clients. I can admit growing our own business is tough. You know, you're cold calling potential clients and having them hang up in your face and you're probably sending out hundreds of emails each and every day without anybody just reaching out to you saying, hey, thanks for, for, for the information, but maybe we're not ready now. And you're probably wasting thousands of dollars on ad spend without even generating any qualified leads. And sometimes you just feel like no one actually wants to buy what you're selling, you know, and when you actually rely on your business to maybe pay rent and put food on the table, it can actually put an enormous strain on your emotions and you're terrified to uh, keep following your dreams and you're afraid that if you give up, then obviously all your neighbors and your uncle that told you you would never amount to anything would win. And, you know, you start contemplating the return to a safe nine to five job with your tail tugged between your legs if you can't actually bring clients. And I don't know what time you're listening to this podcast, but I think um, at the time I'm uh, presenting this, we are two and a half years into what was an epic pandemic. Maybe you guys have forgotten about it. The COVID-19. All right. You know, we look back at our lives and see that some of the practices that we adopted during these lockdowns, you know, have already become ingrained in our lifestyles and they've reshaped our long standing views on how work and leisure is going to be moving forward. OK, you know. While we were in lockdown, we, you know, there was daily sourdough baking on Zoom or birthday parties on Zoom and maybe even parties and boozing. It might have lost its quarantine charm, at least from what I gather, but home office routines are just as permanent and they're lingering as the smell of hand sanitizer. This is why you actually really need to have a lot of personal development in order for you to go through these times and actually create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And you're probably thinking to yourself, ah, you know, the idea of personal development is all woo woo. If I just put out ads out there, if I just put out content, people will beat a pathway to my door. But strangely enough, the idea of becoming a better person and being happier is actually seen by some as a silly activity or, you know, nonsensical, so to speak. But in reality, we all want this. We resist it because we shy away from the actual personal responsibility and also the idea of our actual facing our demons and whatever internal junk, um, you know, it kind of scares us and would rather not. So we just put it in the too hard basket and we laugh at those that do it because maybe we know that they probably don't shave their legs or armpits and then we just say, no, nah, we don't want to be associated with that. But as no matter, no matter what type of person you are, you will clearly benefit from working on yourself because you can't do well if you do not feel well. So if you're working from home and all this um, information about the lockdowns is making you feel jaded, your personal development is the thing that will actually make you shine, okay? And if you're a coach, consultant, um, or an entrepreneur in particular, you really need to devote a bit of time to better yourself because if you want to be successful in your business or in any endeavor, you likely need to make some changes 
first of all, in your belief systems, as well as how you think and act. And if you, um, you know, you look at most of the successful entrepreneurs of our time, it is really clear that personal development is a huge part of their life. And you might think it's a coincidence. I think not. Okay. So a lot of us have limiting beliefs. All right. Um, most of us are probably, um, you know, maybe let's start off with this as an entrepreneur marketing is just maybe one aspect of running a successful business all right you you have to wake up every morning you hire new staff you balance books you're driving growth and a whole lot more and it all feels like a balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions if you have limiting beliefs in any of these places you're gonna sell yourself short and you're not actually going to perform to your actual fullest and this you know at the end of the day our real goal is to just help our clients you want to spend as much time as possible changing people's lives because if you're a coach that's your ultimate goal you know what i mean you don't want to spend countless hours each day navigating the whole complex world of um online marketing and certainly you don't want to spend yet another minute on the phone having to beg people to hire your services this will actually demoralize you so if you bust through your limiting beliefs you will definitely set your stage for everything that you do in life okay because your beliefs and how you approach life and in general is basically going to be the thing that will make it or break it um you know for you during these hard times okay you know what we believe and what we think actually st sets the stage for everything we do in life and will determine the course of our experience so being a successful coach or entrepreneur it actually requires you to adopt a set of beliefs that many people do not hold okay because if they did then they'll be happier um and living the lives that they truly want and won't even need the services that you are providing them okay and you know everyone else out there is not living to their fullest so if they did then you as a coach wouldn't have work and then you as a consultant wouldn't have businesses to consult on so if you are not fortunate enough to grow up around people with a mindset directed towards success you know your personal responsibility um and abundance is going to be predicated on what you do and how you conduct yourself and how you actually bust through these limiting beliefs you see <laughs> the funny story is I, I was actually born um in zimbabwe and the reason why i'm really passionate about helping coaches and consultants um and especially small business owners grow their business is because i know what it's like to come from nothing you see i was born in a small town in zimbabwe in africa and growing up it was pretty tough for us and i didn't have a lot of money and we didn't even have a lot of hope um that i would amount to anything and you know there was not even a lot of people that would look up to so we had no role models to actually inspire um, me to expand on my horizons but my life changed when a bright-eyed australian teacher came uh, to work at our school and she taught me all about australia and all the incredible opportunities that it had to offer what she taught me was that if you can you can be do and have a happier existence if you just look beyond the limiting beliefs that you have surrounding you so you know if you look at my story i wouldn't have thought that i would have amounted to anything just simply based on the environment that i was brought up around okay so we can only adopt more empowering beliefs when we actually make a conscious effort to do so and it actually requires a bit of self-examination and study to actually find the tools that will help us make this mental shift had i not met this mentor had i not uh, decided to make um you know the most of my time at school when she had left then obviously guess what was going to happen i was just going to um you know amount to whatever you know was around me at that time which if you ask me it was not a great deal okay so we live around all of these uh, self limiting beliefs maybe it could be something that you've just experienced during this pandemic and you start noticing that wait a minute the people that i've been hanging around don't really want to do much so you want to look out for networks and people that will actually help you be doing have a happier existence and the more you network and you put yourself out there 
the better it is for your clients and the better it is actually for your business because you actually now start expanding yourself um, you know, to places that you never thought you could and you start reaching audiences and clients that you pro possibly wouldn't had you not um, gone ahead and busted through those limiting beliefs, okay? So when you change those limiting beliefs and self-sabotaging, um, you know, um, you know, or blocking tendencies, you actually start bringing uh, success towards yourself because the idea that we purposely do things to thwart our own success, it might seem look ludicrous to you, but we actually sabotage our own success. Have you ever noticed that when somebody wins a lottery, they actually do their best to get rid of that money because in their life, they have always lived around people and the, and, and, and the consciousness around them as a person was a person who, who didn't have much abundance. So the fact that that money has come to them, it is actually very scary for them because they're afraid they might lose the people that they had around them. So look at how maybe somebody comes to you with an, an opportunity to expand your growth or to partner with you and you're like, nah, I don't think it's the right time or I need to fix this. All of those is all of those things are blocking your success, and you might not even know um, that you're doing that to yourself. Okay, but this is not just the part of your mind um, that's doing this because your brain is calling the shots just simply based on the information that you've given it. So if you start expanding your mind by reading and actually just showing up, um, you know, to to people and experiences that will expand your mind you too will have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, okay? So all, all sorts of these weird things um, that I'm talking about that sabotage our professional success, such as maybe fear, um, you know, of added responsibility, or sometimes we're even afraid to take on some clients because we're afraid of the work that it, uh, it brings, or we are afraid of failure, or we're afraid of criticism. And if you want to be more successful and more wealthier, let me tell you something, feel the fear and do it anyway, all right? Um, most of the people that we know that are successful or wealthy people around us, they've just faced their fears and gone ahead and done whatever things that, that were facing them. So we, as people, we also have these habits that are blocking our success and sometimes we're just lazy and we procrastinate and we don't even do anything to fix that problem. The goal is not about totally becoming this perfect coach or consultant or this perfect being, but it is for you to want to succeed as an entrepreneur, you are you know, likely going to have to um, have a concerted effort to actually work on areas uh, on yourself that will stand in the way of the success that you seek, all right? And... Like I mentioned earlier on, you know, we're just going through this whole pandemic and most of the people are now starting to work remotely. You need to be able to manage stress effectively, okay? We're working in front of our kids each and every day. We're working in front of our pets. We're working in front of our loved ones. So stress is going to be inevitable, all right? The work-life balance has been blurred. So like I said, stress is going to be uh, inevitable as a coach or consultant and you're likely experience these high levels very often because you're dealing with so many people in such a confined space environment and space of time so it could be stress from planning your business running it once it starts and maybe fearing whether or not you're going to succeed in dealing with unexpected roadblocks and people that are experiencing life in totally different ways because the world is jaded at the moment all right people are no longer optimistic um as they used to be so spending habits have actually changed uh, engagement levels have changed people are in survival mode so that could stress you as an entrepreneur or as a coach or consultant and you're looking for ways of how you can actually um you know circumvent that that's why you need to make sure that your personal development is on point okay stress can be very destructive to your business goals and for something so destructive you would think more um you'd think that um, you know a lot of us uh, are, are gonna make a more concerted effort to leave or relieve stress and many of us don't 
Okay, we wait until the thing has started, um, you know, showing up as a disease or some sort of ailment, and then you know we just fall down because of a heart attack just because we didn't manage it well. So. We just don't complain about it and we let it overwhelm us. And half of the time, we're usually the smartest person in the room. So we can't ask our kids how to solve certain problems. Guess what? You probably don't need to ask them. Maybe you just need to give them a cuddle. Half of the time when my kids show up on my door and they're knocking and they're just talking and, you, and I start asking them questions, I... You know, what do you want? What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to put for you on TV? Some of the times... They don't want any of that stuff that we're trying to give them so that they walk away. They probably just need a cuddle. And maybe the person who needed that cuddle was you more than anything else. So half of these things, just just be mindful of what's happening around you just so that you are not, um, you know, you know, you know, wor wor working yourself into oblivion, you know, without committing to stress management or any of those things. Um, you could actually go through meditation I have a pair of um, work headphones that I have. You know, you have those uh, noise cancellation headphones from Sony or whatever. I don't think those actually work. I use the work site headphones. You know, those things that actually, um, you know, cancel out the noise of a jackhammer. Those actually, you know, high Vs. Uh, headphones. Yeah, I bought myself a pair of those. So I just sit in front of my computer and put those on and I just quiet and down and listen to my mind you know that's how i meditate and from then i really have a sense of alignment with what i'm doing alignment with the work that i'm um I'm working on and i do an exercise sometimes i do yoga or do deep breathing or just regular exercise you know lifting weights will actually alleviate stress because you're now uh, telling your brain that hey something is much more important than what we are uh, running through our head right now because you can't do well if you're not feeling well. So for you to be able to maintain and achieve the state of mind necessary for you to actually run a successful business, you you want to approach every single day stress-free, okay? Because stress, it actually skews with your um, perspective. You know, it makes you feel a whole negative, uh, a lot, lot more negative. You know, you become pessimistic about things. A client might actually call you um, you know, with with um, a few questions and you might just brush them off just because you're not feeling well, you know, and it actually makes you self-sabotage. So while you, you know, will certainly have, you know, your moments of not feeling great, it is actually important to do whatever you can to minimize them and actually reduce the intensity, um, you know, of stress when it arises. So are you actively working on your uh, own personal development? Because at the end of the day, you know, there are three questions that I usually ask myself that you can plan, uh, you know, your life around so that you always don't have to have maybe goals or um, resolutions, you know. I've got these three questions. How do I want to be remembered? What matters the most at this particular moment? And what single brave decision do I need to make today? And you will notice that with all these questions, I'm going to dive into them a little bit uh, more. With these questions, you actually set yourself up for success. Because let me tell you something. You might be a coach or a consultant and your role is to hold space for other people. But who is doing that for you? Who is the person who is actually listening to you and, and, and looking after um, you know, your, your, your actual needs as a person, because before you're a coach or consultant, you are human. And most people want more from life than what they're actually getting at this present moment. Yes, we can get results for our clients, but what are we doing for our own uh, selves in order for us to be, do, and have, um, you know, first of all, a happier existence, and then second of all, having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And that's, that's natural to feel, wait a minute, I need somebody to hold space for me. You know, we, we all created, you know, with appetites that long for a whole lot more. And the hard part is is maybe taking that longing and actually turning it into reality. We are helping other people. We see our clients making money. We see our clients doing well. And yes, we are happy for them. But maybe it's not, um, you know, happening to you at that very same, same time as well. 
because life often throws us curveballs and we don't always have the control and you know over how things unfold and we're just coming from the hardest time um you know like i mentioned earlier on with the covid 19 and and a lot of things have changed um just simply based on who we are as people and what we do have control over is how we respond to those situations and how we actually get in front of them you know, all the outcomes that we experience in life are often maybe a direct res um, result of the questions that we actually ask ourselves. You know, had I not asked myself, what am I learning from this teacher? Would I be actually here? Remember the story I told you about the teacher who helped um, me realize that there's life beyond uh, the cocoon that I was brought up in in, in Africa. You know, had I not met um, my teacher there, I'll probably be um, in your imagination sitting on a zebra right now with a bone sticking through my nose and yodeling in some village in Africa. But I did not fall for that, you know. So when you ask yourself the right questions, how do I want to be remembered? That's maybe a starting point. And for you to get in front of whatever life throws your way and, you know, you plan your outcomes that you want, you want to ask yourself, like I said, may, maybe a few questions each and every day and then make the day unfold as you answering those questions. So let's start with the question that how do you want to be remembered? Because in planning anything, the best place, uh, you know, to begin is, is to start with the end in mind. How are you going to know that you have arrived? You know, when you're going somewhere, you, 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 you just don't jump into your car before you look up the address and you pin uh, and then you key the, the GPS address, um, you know, for where you're going. You don't put the address of where you are. So I'm asking you the question, what is the outcome that you actually want? How do you want your story to be told? Who do you want to become? Right. And how do you want the actual story to end? Or if somebody's going to write your biography or uh, obituaries, what do you want them to say? You know, how do you want people to think of you when you're gone? This is such a revolutionary question because it deserves your best thinking and the deepest reflection. You know, you, go, you won't get where you really want to go by simply drifting and seeing where you're going to land. You're going to need to have clarity to know where your final destination would be. And all you do is just reverse engineer from where you are and then you start orientating yourself in that direction. So, yes, you might um, stumble up upon a roadblock or a speed hump like COVID. But if you know what you gonna um, what you want to be remembered for and you know what you, you know what your story is going to be, none of this will be uh, in your way. It would actually just be. Um, you know, how your GPS redirects you and tells you to maybe take a longer route and, um, you know, towards your destination. But along the way, you also want to ask yourself what actually matters the most to you. Now, it's possible you might um, or you've never given yourself permission to ask this question. You know, you spend your time, you know, tending to others. Like I was saying earlier on as coaches, we are holding space for our clients, etc., etc. But have you ever asked yourself what actually matters the most? You know, for example, you probably know what's important to maybe your, your clients, your spouse, your family members, your kids and everything else. And you certainly know what's important to, um, you know, your team members and the people that you work with or your partners. But what's important to you? This is about your priorities and your values. And no one else can decide, um, you know, these kind of things for you. You have to take ownership on them for yourself and so that you can actually get the clarity on where to focus, especially when distractions come your way. We're living in one of the hardest times. And if you don't know what matters to you right now, you might just fall for anything if you don't stand for nothing. All right. So this is a time where everything just now starts feel, feeling like you you have to make a decision. It's either you're here or you're there. You are you are you are, you know you're you're following the news or you're not. You are whatever it is. There's either this or that. There's no in between. And you need to determine what actually matters to you. What are you going to focus on? And when you get that focus going on for yourself, then you, my friend, will have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And once you've done that, every single day is totally different from the last, okay? If you've lived in Melbourne like I have in the last two years, you know, you have to wake up and start noticing 
that every single day is different from the day before or every month is no longer the same. We are living on a day to day basis because the rules are changing. You know, people's temperaments and moods are changing. So you want to maybe check not only the weather when you walk out, because in Melbourne, the weather changes four times a day, but the politics change four times a day. The rules change four times a day. The mandates change four times a day. So what single brave decision are you going to need to make today? You know, because it can feel a bit daunting to reach for something new. You know what I mean? Because you're working towards building your business. You're working towards something you, you're building a person you've never become because you are not the person you were 20 seconds ago. And another 20 seconds has passed. You're a different person already. And after two or three days, maybe your body has started shedding a few cells. Your right finger is totally not the one that you had when you were six years old. But you don't have to know all the steps of how everything is going to play out and have everything all lined up or your ducks in a row. Have you, ever, have you ever seen ducks and tried to put them in a row? That would never work out. There's always the ugly duckling that wants to be seen or that talks too much. And, you know, it's just not going to work. All right. And in fact, trying to create an elaborate plan, especially these days, can lead to major procrastination because you say, you know what, I'll do it when the lockdown uh, is lifted. I'll do it when the pandemic ends. I'll do it when I'll do it when I'll do it when. And you only need to decide on one thing only. And how you're going to create, you know, the, 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 the next steps and the movement forward. So there's going to be a lot of confusion and cutting through the confusion of life is definitely um, going to need for you to have pure clarity. And if you ask yourself these three questions, you now have for yourself a really powerful tool because now you now know how you want to be remembered and anything else that doesn't fall along those lines, you're not going to do it. All right. You now know what matters the most to you. And, and you're not going to bother yourself trying to please people that you don't even care about or people that don't even fall into your conscience. And when you know just one single brave thing that you need to do today, everything else pales to whatever um, you're going to achieve for yourself. So maybe that one thing is to just maybe read um, a little bit more or just meditate or connect more with your clients. You know, most of what is happening right now is is the figment of our imagination. We never knew we would be where we are right now. During the pre-pandemic times, you know, things like freelancing or being a coach or consultant was just a matter of choice. People actually opted or if they felt for maybe greater flexibility working from home. This was something that we never knew existed. So we should actually now start taking uh, full control of what we have in our hands because guess what what's in it for um for for people that we're working with you know a lot of businesses now opt to work with consultants at a per project basis so if you're not feeling well when a company calls you then they're gonna go to the next person you know so at the end of the day as a coach consultant um, you know, we're always in either flood or femme, you know, when it comes to, to money and um, business. So you may find yourself bouncing desperately between, um, you know, periods of extreme work overload or occasional dry spells. Your own personal development is the thing that will make you go past these things, um, you know, like, like Jesus walking on water, for lack of a better example. So for you to balance your workflow and to avoid, um, you know, this uh, burnout that's going to come, make it a habit to always look out, um, you know, for your own personal development. Because if you don't do this, like I said earlier on, many people shy away from the idea of personal development because they think it's a woohoo subject. It's airy fairy. But for you to become a better person and become healthier, happier, wealthier, and, um, you know, much more connected to where you're going, you're going to need to have personal development and you need to have asked yourself um, the three questions that I talked about in this podcast. How do you want to be remembered? What matters the most to you right now? And what's the most single uh, brave decision that you need to make today? 
I can't wait to see you in the limelight. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.